Hello besties and welcome back to a, another weekly vlog and happy 2024. So today it is the 2nd of January so we have well and truly moved into a new year and I am so so excited for this year. I feel like last year was really cementing everything for me and all of the things that I can achieve and I now have a clear vision and a clear understanding of what I want to achieve and how I'm going to achieve it. So I'm very excited going into the new year and I will bring you along for everything. As you probably have seen, I am starting to do more book related content here on YouTube and also on my Instagram and TikTok. So there will be lots of different book related content coming out because I just love talking about books so, so, so much. So if you enjoy listening to that or you have read any books, please let me know because I love talking about books so much. But today, um, my partner Shane has gone to pick up his new car and he'll be gone for quite a few hours. So I thought it would be a really good time to just smash out all of my editing for the week. So I have two videos that are going live on YouTube tonight um, that I filmed last week that I need to edit. And I also have a TikTok video going live. So that's the plan. I've already edited the TikTok yesterday. Um, so it's just the YouTube videos today. And then I also want to put away all of my Christmas decorations because I wanted to the other day when I did a full house reset. Um, but Shane's motorbike was in front of the garage where I keep all of the boxes for the Christmas stuff. So I could only do like a general tidy and rearrange up here. So yeah. And I am loving my new office setup, which you would have seen in my last video. But we just have lots of plants around because I love my plants. Shane got me this for Christmas. It's a ring light so I can put my camera on there or my phone. Um... And yeah, my vision board and this beautiful, beautiful print that I was gifted from Remind Her. So I will link that below as well. But if you want to have a bit of a read, it's just an absolutely stunning print. So this is the little setup. I've got my Notion board. If you want me to run through how I do my content and how I plan for it, let me know because I am nosy like that myself so if you do want to see how I organize it so that you can also get into content creation please let me know because I love sharing that stuff and I'm currently reading House of Earth and Blood I'm on page 405 and I'm loving it so much more than when I read it the first time I don't know if it's because I'm more into fantasy now than I was when I first read this book um, or I don't know what it is, but I'm just really enjoying it a lot more than the last time that I read it. So I think it might be a four stars. And then I will obviously read the next one after this. But yeah, it's a pretty big book to start off the year. It's that time of year where we have to take down the Christmas tree. And it's probably the saddest time of year because I love having the Christmas tree up. But it is time to take it down. Fresh new start. I've always wondered what it takes to fill this Adorable this decoration is that I got from Pillow Talk this year. It's a little gingerbread man. Happy Friday. I think it has been a hot minute. I don't even know when I started this Tuesday and I don't think I've spoken to the camera since then. Um, this week has been absolutely hectic. I'm in the process of trying to find some new work. I've decided to take a bit of a break from my business. I'm not sure if I've talked about this. Um, so I'll be doing support work again for a little while, which is totally fine. I found this new family um, and they're so lovely. 
um, and still working with um, some other clients. So should be fun. But I thought I'd update you on what I read this week so far. Um, I'm still reading Sarah J Mass's House of Earth and Blood. I'm on to chapter 53, so not too much left. Um, but fantasy sometimes is a bit tricky for me. I do really love fantasy books, but sometimes they're a little bit tricky for me to read. So I started a romance series because I realized this is a long winded thing. So bear with me, I'm just gonna take you into my library. I love that I call it my library now, it's so cute. Um, I have this series over here by Krista and Becca. I'm not sure if they're sisters, but I realized that there are books that come before those that I have not read. Um, and I've been putting it off because I didn't really care when I started reading Kiss the Sky, but I think that's just because it's like partway through a series and I hadn't actually read it. Um, so I realized that on Kindle Unlimited, they have the Addicted to You series, which is the series that comes before this, but they kind of intertwine, um, and they had it on Kindle Unlimited. So I started reading it, and I read the first book in like a day. Um, and yeah, I think I am missing some. So I started reading the first one, and I gave it 3.5 stars, I believe. I did enjoy it. Um, when I first started reading it, I was a bit funny about the main girl character because she's addicted to sex. I'm not sure if it was just because like there's a lot of taboo around the topic of sex addiction. Addiction. We love Lily and Lo and their dynamic and even though they were kind of a bit toxic for each other they're also really good for each other so I was really rooting for them to try and like improve themselves as they both um, struggle with their own addiction but they've been friends for so so long um, and also all the new characters that were introduced. Connor, Rake, Rose... Or is it Rosie? Not sure. Charlie! Really rooting for them the whole time I was reading the book. So I actually quite enjoyed the book. Um, and one of my goals this year is to actually write better reviews. So my Goodreads review, not sure if you can see it, is very long. <laughs> because I wanted to really write down all my thoughts as soon as I finish a book. But really enjoyed that book. So I'm now reading the second one, but this is actually 1.5. Um, and it's kind of about them both dealing with their addictions. Um, and so far I'm quite enjoying it. Um, nothing notable has happened, but I do know that it's like an in-between book anyway. So yeah, that's my reading update. Shane is going to bring us home some dinner and we're going to have a little date night, which I am very, very excited for. Um, and then tomorrow is a big filming day again. So I'll bring you along for that as well and film behind the scenes of content creation and stuff, if that is what you'd like to see. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I also, I actually haven't shown this and I'm very excited to put you on the ground. Um, this is my Christmas book haul because I waited until Shane got home to actually open some of my presents. I knew some of these books um, because I was with him when he picked them out for me for Christmas, but I haven't spoken about them. So he got me the three books in the Inheritance Game series. I do own the first one, but it was cheaper to buy as a box set than the two other ones. So I might gift my first one, which I don't actually know where it is. Oh yeah, it's up there. So I might gift my first one to someone else. So if you're interested, leave me a comment and I might send you the first one because why not? I don't need it. Um, and then he also got me the, I'm not sure which one's the first one in this series. I feel like I'm missing one. Is there three books in this series? I'll need to Google it. I think there might be three books and I only have the two. But I have, um, and they're supposed to be really, really good. So I'm very excited to read those two. Um, Shane picked those up for me. And he also picked this book up um, without me being there. He just saw it and thought of me. Um, and I really love it when he does that. Like, they're not necessarily books that I've been really wanting to read or books that I've heard of before, but they really hold a special place in my heart because he picks them out. So this is Sit, Stay, Love by Amy Hutton. And I haven't heard of it before. It sounds cute. Um, so we'll see what we think of this one. But I'm excited. I'm also on a no book buying month. 
um, because I'm trying to save some money for some bills that are coming about and I do buy books very often. Um, so hopefully I won't want to buy the rest of this series that I'm currently reading because not all of them are on Kindle Unlimited. But that is my update for you all. I hope you're having an amazing week or an amazing weekend whenever you're watching this. I think this video will go live on a Tuesday. So whenever you're watching this, I hope you are doing really well. And I really appreciate you watching my videos. Um, I don't know. I'm just this year. This is a bit all over the shop. I'm really chatty today. But this year, I really want to focus on doing things for myself. I feel like last year, I really just chased money. And I think I may have spoken about this in my get ready for 2024 um but I didn't do anything that I actually wanted to do and I have really really been wanting to start a YouTube channel for the longest time probably since I was a teenager um and I just never did because I was scared of what people would think of me I was bullied in high school and I think that was something that really stuck with me for a while um I might do a video on that if you're interested to know because one of my main things is I want to help people that were in a sim similar spot to me. So if you're going through something right now, please message me on Instagram, reach out. I'm always here to chat and I'd love to support you. But yeah, YouTube and social media has always been on my mind. So 2024, I'm just going all in. I'm just going to do it. And I'm going to do it because I enjoy it, not because I want to create a career out of it. Like, I'm pretty happy doing support work at the moment and helping people. Um, and social media booktube is kind of just something that I'm doing for fun so thank you for supporting it and yeah thank you so much I know not many not many people watch it but if there was like 60 people in the room with me and said that they watched my content which I know is how many people follow I would not know what to do with myself with 60 people so I do appreciate it no matter the number so let's keep going on this video sorry for my little little chat my period is coming so I'm a little bit emotional so bear with me but I do appreciate you for watching okay I've finished filming everything I changed my outfit probably about five times um, and my hairstyle a couple as well um, but I also decided to reorganize my bookshelves I just felt like I couldn't put new books anywhere so I've got all of my romance we've got uh, the Bridgerton series and Ellie Kennedy up the top, then any romance series. Um, there's some romance series um, in here that I've started but haven't finished. Younger romance, self-help book, this shelf was destroyed. Um, my Harry Potter Hunger Games, Winnie the Pooh. And then we've got my four TBR shelves. And then the rest is I only have two shelves of fantasy, which I thought I had way more than that, but obviously only enough to fill two shelves. They are like this way at the moment though, just because I couldn't fit them. Obviously once I read more of my TBR, it'll take up this shelf as well. But yeah, I still have so many romance books. Like look at them all, a whole shelf. But yeah, that's what I ended up doing. My back is killing me, but that's okay. I'm going to put all of my new reads on this cart so that they can be beside me when I'm reading. But we've got a Charlie following me around and this is the last outfit that I ended up in. It's cute, but I'm gonna take it off shortly and get into comfies. So yeah, that's pretty much all I did. I was going to bring behind the scenes, but I couldn't even focus on like what I was actually filming for a while there. So I was like, I can't have another camera cause I'll just get confused. this vlog here as I'm just going to be sitting here and reading my book um, the noise that you can hear in the background is my white noise machine my Alexa um, playing some rain 
music for me um but yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video i feel like it has been all over the shop a little bit so i apologize for that but i am getting back into the weekly vlogs so i'm going to still consistently post i hope that you have still enjoyed this video and i hope you are having an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world and i will see you next time in another video very soon